Hey everyone, uh, Aaron Alvarez here. So, Brightline is now conducting its final high speed testing in Brevard County, which is awesome. Uh, once they get that out of the way, they were supposed to start Friday, supposedly, then yesterday, but everything got, got pushed back. I'm assuming because of weather, some safety equipment wasn't properly working yet, but if they got that working, it's definitely going to be good. But, it's conducting its final high-speed testing up of our county. I'm going to make sure that everything's working up there. And after that, it's the certification process. Hopefully, the FRA and the test trains will be able to get this completed as soon as possible and they can open up our Orlando road. And it just makes me excited. I mean, one, I was stationed out in California, at Camp Allen, the California, north of San Diego, so... If you ever been in the military, especially in the Marines or in the Navy, you know the transit system out there in San Diego. They got the trolley. They got Amtrak. They got the coastal link. They got Metro link up in Oceanside. You know, they got, I mean, everything. I mean, it, it's what transit-oriented development looks like, DOD. And people use it. I mean, they're still tied to their cars a lot, but I mean, if you go out there, I mean, thousands of people a day to hop on the trolley. A thousand people, you know, use the coastal, you know, you know, the coast area, excuse me. I don't know why I call it the coastal link. You know, their commuter rail and all that. They use it. So, and people use metro links. So, it's worth developing. And I'm a Republican. I'm, but, I mean, I want to give people alternate means of transportation because, no offense, these people say, well, Brightline's too expensive, you know, to go up to Orlando and all that. I, I'll just get there just as fast in my car. Well, let me speak to this. Last week on my way into work, I was heading towards I-95 at 45th Street. And I was approaching the interchange. And southbound traffic was just tied up because of an accident. And it's just terrible. And I know everyone say, well, it's West Palm Beach and Turnpike and it's free and clear and all that. Well, I hate to say it, the Turnpike's not much better. I mean, if you get on if you get on the turnpike. A lot of times, there's only two lanes across. Again, there's a traffic accident and all that. It's going to be freaking blocked. You're going to be backed up. Just late last week, on my way into work, there was a fatal accident on southbound 995 by Don Ross. Traffic was backed up for miles on that one. So... I mean, people say, well, I'm just going to save the money and gas and drive on up there. Okay, but what happens when you get caught in traffic? Your, your plans are delayed like by an hour, hour and a half. Or you're forced to detour because all lanes are blocked. I mean... Unless somebody drives on the tracks and they're not paying attention or they're complete idiots, you know, trains are the fastest way to travel. One, yet yeah, you don't have to freaking sit and deal with the traffic. Yes, I mean, there's no connectivity to like the parks yet, but that's down the line in the future. I mean, you would have to pay for an Uber and all that. I mean, if you're not renting a car while flying somewhere, you're going to have to pay for an Uber that way. You know? Or you're going to have to take mass transit to your destination. So, another thing. It's worth the price. It really is. I, me and my family rode on it a few times. It's worth the price. Now, people could just stay off the tracks and actually pay attention to the crossing signals. It'd be fine. 
As far as politicians are concerned, uh, a certain one on the Treasure Coast has remained silent. All the critics and all that. I mean, you're going to be critics no matter what. So I'm just going to leave it at that. I mean, you're upset that they didn't replace the bridge right away. Well, I mean, it's $200 million at minimum to replace that bridge and double track it. That's just the minimum. And you want it higher so your boat traffic can get through. Well, they have to raise piers for the freight trains to get up. So. Um, but other than that, I can't wait to share another update when I learn about it via press releases. So I want to wish everybody a good day and have a good one.